What's up, guys? Wait, am I? Am I muted? Yeah, okay. Okay, so today we're going to be reacting to JT's video. And then tomorrow, but I'll be recording two videos in the same day. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be react. Well, I'll be reacted to. Um, another part of. Um, of me. So we'll be reacting to that. But that'll be uploaded tomorrow, but I'll be literally recording it today, but I should watch it is tomorrow. So yeah, but I'm just gonna say today for yeah. But anyways, yeah, and then Wednesday we're reacting to um some good old OTV and friends. Just because because I ain't no, like, you know, Valkyrie or, you know, those people. But, yeah. The reason why I'm literally just... Because <laughs> um, this video is literally 4 minutes and 57 seconds. Almost 5 minutes. So, that's why I'm, like, talking for it to not read... Well, for it to for me to do this. So, yeah, here we go. So here's my reaction to JC's video from yesterday. Well, ladies and gentlemen, look how the tables have turned. Jake Paul, the man that considers himself the best influencer boxer in the world, has already had enough of fighting boxers. For those of you that don't know, Jake Paul fought Tommy Fury in February. He got abs. And that's facts. All right, I got to say right now, Jake Paul, you did great with Tommy Fury. Cannot wait to see you in the ring with Nate Diaz, who is second most respected MMA fighter of all time. Backing up with Habib, by the way, which, by the way, he's very, very, very respected in the MMA community, but I don't know if he's well respected in the boxing community. Not that sure, but we need to see Habib in the boxing ring sometime in his career. So, yeah. Absolutely destroyed. Claimed the reason why he lost was because he had a wet dream. I know, I know you didn't and want that's to facts. what mom said. She said Jake had a wet dream the night before his fight. And now has gone back to fighting MMA fighters. Yeah. Okay, why do you have to make a pearl? Yes, he fought like what? Um, ben Askren, literally like two years ago today. Like literally, as was it today, two years ago, it's the day that Jake Paul knocked out Ben Askren at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. You guessed it. Atlanta, Georgia, my home state. He literally defeated Ben Askren in my home state. To me, that's a big W in my book because he defeated an MMA box and an MMA fighter in my home state. So that's a big dub for me. So that's good. But anyways, yeah, we're not talking about Ben Askren. We're talking about Nate Diaz. So yeah, but. You had to make a pearl, KSI. Okay, so yeah. Yes, Jake Paul is fighting Nate Diaz this August. Nate Diaz, a man that has had most of his fights at lightweight, so that's about 155 pounds. I mean, I guess yeah. he's had some fights at welterweight, which is about 170 pounds. But yeah. With a record of three wins and three losses at welterweight, it's not great. Now, keep in mind, in August, Jake Paul is going to be fighting Nate Diaz 100 and 85 pounds. Nate has never fought at 185 pounds, whereas Jake has several times. So already that's in Jake's favor. Now let's be real. Nate Diaz isn't really known for his striking. Even in four ounce gloves, rarely knocks anyone out. 
fold. In fact, most of his wins are via submission. You know why? True. Because that's what he's good at. He has a black belt in jujitsu. 12 of his 21 wins in MMA is via submission. That's over half. That's that's not a coincidence. That's just because he's very good at jujitsu. You know what that's he's not true. good at? Boxing. Nate Diaz is a 37-year-old black belt jujitsu. But, 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 but. I'm saying right now, he's very fit, he's very healthy, and he can go up leatherweight, featherweight, and, or any type of weight type for any type of, like, fighting thing. He could literally, like, go up to, like, what, like, or go down, like, 150 255 pounds and that's good for him the thing he has to train is the boxing and then that's it like why are you literally complaining about oh j Paul is literally fighting a retired MMA fighter bro he fought Ben Askren two years ago to this date today. But like, come on, KSI. Come on. MMA fighter. That happens to throw a punch every now and then. And for me, ladies and gentlemen, that is the problem with Jake Paul. He's a fraud. And people need to... How is he a fraud if... If he... F <laughs> literally... I mean this. Literally... Fought Tommy Fury like... February of this year. He fought Tommy Fury February of this year in Dubai. Like, can you at least give a little bit of credit to Jay Paul because he fought an actual boxer and literally, I mean this. Like, <laughs> like literally, I don't know what the word that I'm thinking of, but yeah, right. Get a little bit of Jake credit, dude, because he actually fought an actual boxer that what all the freaking haters want, dude. He's People are, we're saying, oh, go fight a real boxer. Go fight Tommy Fury. Which, again, he fought. He fought an actual boxer. Who is, by the way, a part of the Fury family, which is like, Big for Jake Paul. He's friends with Tyson Fury. He's friends with John Fury. Okay? Two of the biggest Furies in the UK where you live. And by the way, can I say right now, Wade is already in London for the Kingpin event. And plus, I know Wade is now fresh with the UKSI, but he just probably try to play for the freaking, you know, community. So yeah, me and KSI are friends, but at the same time, seems like the, that you're not actually friends. You still have that one grudge because of Wade with what he said weeks ago about his opinion on you not f with like the whole KSI versus J Paul thing not even happening this year. You're still holding to that one grudge, KSI. And you're calling J Paul a fraud because of that. Like come on, KSI. Come on. To wake up to this fact. He can't beat boxing. That's
He cannot be boxers. <laughs> oh, just you wait, K Stai. I have been you be begging begging to have a fight with Jake Paul. But Jake Paul would say, nah you had your chest KSI. I'm going to freaking MMA, or I'm going to be continuing doing my boxing career. Like, <laughs> fuck me, dude. Oh my gosh. I hate him. That's why he's staying clear from me. Me, so Pappy, so Fournier. Okay. Joe Fournier, can I say, he was on... Jake Paul show, BS with Jake Paul, not that long ago. Yes. This dude right here, who is fighting KSI next month, can I say, next month, next effing month, ladies and gentlemen. KSI agree fighting a real boxer, but I got, uh, I got, can I say right now, to piss off <laughs> freaking, ooh, to literally get freaking KSI mad. I got Joe Fournier winning, alright, I'm sorry KSI, but Joe Fournier would knock you out. And, can I say right now, you will get your first loss. Your first loss. All right, and the next day you'll be telling it, "I lost." <laughs> Which, by the way, to me, I will be laughing, and I will literally react to that, to to your video, and just laughing. Not lying. Joe Fernier. Go knock out k my dude. And get him his first L of his career, dude. But with Swarms, Deji. I got Deji winning that. Yes. I said it. Deji. At least I gotta give Deji some respect, dude. Alright, I gotta give Deji some respect, alright? I literally don't want Dylan Tunji having an L, alright? I just want one little Tunji, which is JJ. But Deji, a win. I I'm gonna give Deji the win, alright? But not KSI, because as you heard, Tipa cannot fight boxers. Let's see if we can. Fight a real boxer, JJ. May 13th, I'm watching. Alright? May 13th, I'm watching. If you do, if, 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 I'm saying it right now, JJ. If you don't defeat Joe Fortier in any rounds. I would give you some respect. But if Joe Fortier knocks you out, I'ma laugh. I'ma laugh. And you're gonna be posting a video the next day saying I lost. Cause Let's see. If it, let's see if you can actually find a real boxer on May 13th. And I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm watching it. So yeah. Because he knows ultimately 
he's not that good. Now, chances are Jake Paul will beat Napier, either through decision or by a knockout or a technical knockout. And that's mainly because Nate Diaz won't be able to use his ultimate weapon, his best weapon, jujitsu. Instead, he's going to have to rely on his subpar boxing ability against Jake Paul, who, let me remind you, only does boxing. And this is the same bullshit that we're going to get with the whole Ben Askren situation. Two years ago today, boys. Alana! <laughs> Ben Askren was going to beat Jake Paul. Quite a lot of people. Hell, even I thought Jake Paul was going to lose. But this time, nah, I ain't falling for this shit again. We know what we know now. It's crazy to think that <laughs> we ever thought that Ben had a chance. I mean, look at how Jake Paul celebrated after beating Ben Askren. Ben Askren doesn't even know how to punch. And he's celebrating like he's just won the World Cup. It's all just cringe. Just like his fan base. They just... Eat all his shit. Ah, uh, not really, not really, because I'm, I think, still friends with one huge J. Paul fan that I could, I could probably confirm it from the post that I've been seeing. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true, KSI. And I know it. Myself knows that because I'm friends with a Jack Pollard. So yeah. That he secretes out of his mouth daily. May 13th or next month, I'm gonna be fighting Joe Fournier. He is a boxer. And not not an old boxer. <laughs> Let's see if Case like can get his first L of his career and and literally uploads a video called I lost cuz I bet you 100% that he will be losing it in one of the routes and calling it a dud and getting Joe Freddie a ten he's gonna be a 10 and all boxer and Joe Freddie could actually could actually said yeah I knocked out a UK YouTuber. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know pro boxer. That's all he does. No MMA, no wrestling, no jujitsu, no kickboxing, no judo, no karate, just pure boxing. And I'm training harder than I've ever trained in my life. And ladies and gentlemen, you will see what I will do to him May 13th. So if you want to check it out live, tickets down below. Deji is also fighting as well as Salt Pappy and other fighters. It's going to be a sick undercard. It's going to be a sick event. You should definitely check it out. Tickets down below. If you've been to a Misfits event before, you know how Yeah, 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 yeah. This whole thing is a freaking promotion to fucking... Oh yeah, I'm fighting at May 13th. I'm fighting a real boxer. <laughs> JJ. You're gonna get knocked out, bro. One of the rounds I'm gonna be celebrated, smoking that good old K side pack. Because I'll be happy that you got knocked out by a real boxer. And you can you can't actually fight a real boxer. And by the way, I'll be uploading this as well today. So, yeah. How amazing these events are so i'm sure i'm sure to see you guys soon anyway i want to knock out joe fournier i want to make a state i want to strike even more fear into jake paul and now let's not get it twisted jake paul has been boxing way longer than i have while he was fighting gib nate robinson ben askren woodley twice I yeah woodley stadium singing holiday I was recording weekly videos with the side. I was making YouTube content on my channel. I was going on press runs, promoting my music. I was going on tours, etc. So the fact that I've already opened tours only, only in Europe, but not in the US. That's what grows. I'm still holding KSI. All right, 
the one grudge that I'm still holding is you're touring Europe, but not the USA, bro. Which you did attend the real life USA edition. Just that. And all the content on the Sidemen channel last year. But not music tours or anything. So yeah. Overtaking Jake Paul in boxing ability in less than a year. It says a lot. Ultimately, Jake Paul is scared of me. And if we never manage to make this fight happen, I want you to know this, Jake. You will forever be known as the man that claimed to want to avenge his brother's loss, but ultimately was too scared, was too pussy to actually go forward. So anyway, enjoy your fight with another MMA fighter, Jake. When you're actually ready to man up and end this feud with your boy, KSI, I'll be here waiting, ready. It's been your boy, KSI, and I'll see you lot in a bit. Take care and peace. <sighs> Saying it right now, Case I would get 100% knocked out by Joe 48, May 13th. So that's it. Uh, see you guys all in the next video, which will be linked in the, in the description box below to watch the next video yes i'm doing daily videos until the 30 day i mean this 30 day vod upload the reason why i'm doing that because may 29th is when ya boy is coming back to twitch and I've been taking a break for a week. I was going to be two weeks by the end of this week. Meaning, that might be the longest break I ever done on Twitch. So, i seen other uh, streamers of mine, maybe well, streamer friends of mine, that took even longer ones, like, Freaking my friend go see Mick, uh, or Mick, uh, take it a f what is that five plus month hiatus? Pick each up like more than that, like, yeah. So, yeah, May 29th, I'll be back. To Twitch streaming, and 100%, I mean this, 100%, I won't be scared of doing that IRL stream. I, and I will make it up to you guys on my two year anniversary. Because the next month is May 11th, and that lands on a weekday. So that lands on a. Thursday, May 11th. So, yeah. That's what year. Can't believe I'm going to say it's 11 months. One year and 11 months. Crazy to see that the one year and 11 months is coming by fast. And then after that, two year anniversary. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, go watch the next video. Link in the description box below or in the pinned comment to watch the next video if it's out. If not, it might be out. Uh, tomorrow, and then I will link it in this dis video description and comment of the video. So yeah, peace. And by the way, watch the last video because it's just like a, you know, update video.
my monthly update video of it and then uh yeah go watch it link in the description box below to watch that video and then go watch the next video watch it out take care and peace